Well, I became interested in football really from a very young age. I was about 12, or actually before that, I always just liked sports in general. Growing up, I was always a tomboy. And then when I was about 12, my father uh, became doctor for the New York Jets. They were the New York Titans at the time. And uh, he and my uncle both became doctors. So loving sports, that was just the answer for me. So I started going to the games with my whole family. At the time, they played at Shea Stadium on, on Flushing, Long Island. It wasn't a big thing as the Titans, but then when they became the Jets, and they then drafted Joe Namath. And Joe Namath was a big name star, the first uh, highest paid football player where he made sign for like 400,000, and that was a big thing at the time. And he was as big as the Beatles. I first I had gone to an all girls college uh, for two years and I played basketball. And I, but I was missing something, so I transferred to Ohio State. And I started to go to every football game, and Ohio State football is very big. I also, at that time, when I started going to football games, um, I would start going to practices. And I met a gentleman that was very world famous named Woody Hayes. And he was the coach at Ohio State. And I managed to meet him, and he was wonderful. And I'd say to him, oh, I just want to do something in sports, but I don't know what to do, and I'm majoring in home ec. He said, just keep doing what you're doing and you don't know what's gonna happen, but it's your passion, and you keep coming to practices. And I don't care if my practices are open or closed. You love football so much, Connie, you keep coming to them. So I did, and I, I graduated in 1974 with uh, my degree in home ec education, but then my life changed. Well, my life changed because I, I was going to go teach at my old high school, and uh, then my father had a 50th birthday party. As I said, he was a team internist with the Jets. And Charlie Winter was the head coach, along with uh, Weeb Eubank, who had won the Super Bowl uh, was, as the general manager. And they were building a brand new complex out at Hofstra University on Long Island. And they were, didn't have any kind of receptionist or secretary or anything there. So the coaches and stuff were going to be there. They were going to have a summer training camp. So I was sitting talking to everybody. They were amazed at how much I knew about football. And they said, we would love to have somebody that really knows football. Would you consider working? I said, I'm there. I don't care about my other job. I want to work football. So I was a receptionist at first. And then my boss, um, Mike Hollivac, along with Walt Michaels, who was the head coach, um, and uh, Al Ward, who was the general manager, came to me one day and they said, would you consider being the first female scout in the NFL because you've really proven that you know your stuff? And I said, yes, I would absolutely love it. I didn't go to them. They, they came to me. The Senior Bowl was uh, one of the bowl games that has a north against the south and you have two co uh, coaches from the pros that would be um, coaching the players and somebody got hurt named Mike Stensrud and could not play in the squad that Walt Michaels of the Jets was going to be the head coach so my boss who was on the road called and said Connie I need you to find a defensive lineman to take Mike Stensrud's place so I went through the books went through our tapes, looked at the tapes, looked at the books, read the reports that we had on defensive linemen. So I called all the different players and most of the guys, they said, okay, I, I may, maybe I wanna play, but there was one player that stood out, said, I'm ready to play, I'm in shape, just tell me where to go, and I, I wanna play. And that turned out to be Mark Gastineau. I said, I would recommend him. I said, just the way he sounds and the way, way he reads and what I've seen, and so um, they said, okay, we're gonna take him. In 1979, we drafted him. We drafted Marty Lyons, number one. We drafted Mark Gastineau, number two. Both of them became the famous part of the SAC exchange. It became very, very famous of the Jets. Through the years, I've always stayed friends with him. And um, his life is really great. He sings uh, in the choir at his church. He got, he saved his wife, a wonderful wife that he has now. This year, I got a phone call from Mark and his wife and, uh, and his sister Kelly inviting me to come up and be part of their family um, and the celebration and to come up with them and be on the field at halftime and be a part of their whole thing as he was entered into the ring of honor. Um, and this is 33 years later after the draft and to be a part of that I was just totally honored. The title of the first Girl Scout I liked it very much. It was something you know, that first of all, that I never expected, and I loved it. I know they put that in the, in the newspaper, and they kind of named me that. And as I said, I was very proud of it. It wasn't, I was never a person that was uh, a women's liberal or somebody that was saying, you know, give it to me because I'm a woman. I just, I just love football. And that they, they, they thought that they came to me and said, we'd like you to do this, made me feel really good about doing it. Um, and so it was, and it was something, it was just a passion, something that I loved and that they thought that I could handle it. 
and was good enough to do it um, made me very proud. So I, I, to this day, I'm very proud.